everybody, it's Tyler from Fandom Musicals. And with 2014 coming to an end, we thought it would be an awesome chance to take a look back at what made this year so awesome, important, and incredible for Fandom Musicals as a group. Let's rewind all the way back to January 2014. Coming off of Phantom Hearts, we decided the first thing we would do is to try and raise some money for our next show. So we started off the top of our heads, a comedy sketch show that included musical numbers, some improv, a whole lot of songs, including scenes and songs from future shows that we were working on. It was there we ran into Josh and Jacob, who were fans of ours at the time, but also came in as crew members and cast members in our future shows. We gave away some Con Bravo passes, we did some improv, it was a whole lot of fun. It was also our first time doing a show multiple times in the same day for two different audiences. Moving on to February 2014 was when we started Star Explorers. Previously it was called The Curtain Call, but then we decided to make it more sci-fi themed and it became Star Explorers the Musical. We did our auditions, we met some awesome cast members, and we began rehearsing our show. May was an important time for us because we got to screen Fandom Hearts the Musical at Anime North in a huge room on a huge projector screen. We got a merch table as well so that we can sell our stuff and we got to meet some fans and it was an awesome time. We even got to do a panel on the Sunday talking about what it was like to make the musical and where we were headed in the future. Also, the audience members who were at the screening got to take a look at a special sneak peek of Star Explorers that we didn't show anywhere else. Fast forward to July, where we had our second full-length musical Star Explorers perform at Con Bravo in Hamilton. It was an incredible experience. We got a full merch table this time around, got to meet some people, sell some stuff, and we had some pretty awesome people come up to us after the show and tell us that they enjoyed it. In August, we launched our second Indiegogo campaign to raise money for our next four shows, which included Frostbite, a Canadian zombie musical, and Amazing, X Musical, and Fandom Hearts 2. At the screening, Dr. Holocaust joined us as a guest, took over the show, killed me. That was pretty intense. And we had some other people join us as well, including the full, one of the members of the 404s and Shaggy Shanahan. It was also at this time that we officially announced Fandom Hearts 2. A lot of people had expected that we were going to do a second one, but we weren't officially announcing it. But we finally did, and they couldn't be more happier. Continuing into September, our Indiegogo campaign finished. We ended up raising all the money we needed and more, which meant that we're going to bring you guys a lot more content. Speaking of which, we were at Unplugged Expo and re-performed off the top of our heads. Once again, some awesome guests in the audience, a couple Power Ranger actors who decided to come by and see us perform a parody song based on the show. We had a merch table as well where people could meet us and got some free pins, including our Spread the Fandom pins, which became our tagline starting in September. September also brought about the beginning of Frostbite rehearsals. We also had a little dance party during rehearsal when we found out that we raised all the money that we needed. September also brought about the time of the Ice Bucket Challenge from ALS, supporting Lou Gehrig's disease. We took part in it because a fan of ours decided it would be fun to nominate us. So a bunch of us got in on that. October saw us getting into the Halloween spirit by releasing a couple teaser trailers for Frostbite, the Canadian zombie musical. We also got to see our good friend Devin Otterman at Shadow Shoveler Productions do a review of our show Star Explorers, which got us really happy to see. If you guys ever have a review, text, or video, or even do a cover of one of our songs, please send it to us because we would love to see it and we'd love to share it with all of our fans. November saw us performing Frostbite, a Canadian zombie musical at Fanfare 2 in Toronto. We had a great time, an awesome audience came out to see us. During the show, we had some people filming us for some press. In fact, if you guys have any press relations, you can email us at fandommusicals at hotmail.com. And finally, November saw the start of our rehearsals for Animazing, our second show out of the four that we Indiegogo funded. So that show will be coming into January, but more on that later as we decide to release what we call 2015 Fandom Musical's best season so far. More details on that will be coming. We hope you enjoyed this recap video. We're going to have a lot more videos and content coming to you guys in 2015. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, download and listen to our music on Bandcamp, and of course buy our merch there as well. I'm Tyler from Fandom Musicals, and I'll see you guys in 2015.